Hi guys, so as we are starting out with the series of lectures, but first let's go through the basics. What we'll be requiring to build up the foundation for the knowledge of pediatrics, and I will be telling out the uh, books required for pediatrics residency in India. Let's get started. First book, it's like the go through the god of pediatrics is the nelson's test book of pediatrics during my residency the 21st edition was the one thing but last year in the end of uh, they have come up with the latest southeast asia edition that is the 22nd edition of pediatrics and that consists of two volumes so some people do find that Nelson is a bit tough language and not easier to grasp. So the second option for them I would suggest is the PG test book of pediatrics by Sir Piyush Gupta. There are total three volumes. The topic which is given in uh, for each of the DCEs is quite a bit lengthy one uh, as compared to Nelson. But if you want in a very easier language to grasp, then that is the second book. Basically, the next book was recommended to me by one of my senior. That is the illustrative test book of pediatrics. And it has like a diagrammatic representation for each of the DCEs. And if uh, you like you feel that the disease is quite tough or to the pathophysiology is quite difficult to understand then you can go through this illustrative test book of pediatrics let me tell you out the first three books which are there first is the UG test book of pediatrics by Sir Piyush Gupta the essentials pediatrics by O.P. Ghai sir and the next one is the Mukesh Agarwal book of uh, pediatrics so basically these three are the UG books uh, you can buy any of the three. I would have always preferred any one. Like it, uh, it depends totally on your choice, which is which you feel easier to grasp. It's like uh, any of the DCs which have been mentioned. It, it's just in a gist. So any case you come up in word and you just want to know about it uh, in few details then these are the three books that you must have. For the emergency now I am going to say emergency can be ending, ending you up in casualty or the PICU emergencies. So there is a textbook that is the IP text pediatric ICU protocols. The next one Ames also has a p different book of PICU protocols. So you can also have that. But I found it out difficult to grasp. So the next book is the Pediatric Critical Care Manual by Kamath. And uh, there's one more book, a uh, manual by Suchitra Ranjit. So summing you up for the emergencies and PICU, there are total four books. AIMS PICU Protocol, the IAP Pediatric ICU Protocols, the Pediatric Critical Care Manual by Kamath, and Pediatric Emergency and Critical Care by Suchitra Ranjit. About the NICU. As you when you will be posted in uh, like the neonatal intensive care unit, there are the four must to have books. That is, you can choose the Clohati and Starks manual of neonatal care. So there are two editions. Uh, the eighth edition, which I found is a bit difficult to grasp. Just go through this, the Southeast Asia edition, which would be much better and easier to grasp. And they have come up with the latest edition as i have seen uh, then for the like the emergencies like you ended up in any emergency so there is an eco protocol by aims there are two volumes volume one and two just make sure that you are using the latest the picture which i am showing you here it's like the uh, old edition which i was having during my time but then you can purchase the latest edition now going through the drug dosing so basically you must have three books for drug dosaging one is the neofax which uh, you either you can have it in sort of pdf or like if you want a hard copy for yourself you can you can buy 
so be, uh, whatever drugs which would be using in neonate so the dosing would be different the depending if uh, the renal threshold the dosing will change depending upon the postnatal conception age or the gestational age the dosing would be changing so you have to follow new facts all and every time in when and uh, you are posted in the uh, nicu units uh, the second book is for your opd or like uh, your picu or any emergency so it's like the harriet lane and the drug dose in children by mehrban singh so you can have any of these like in a hard copy sort of thing and i would recommend you like take harriet lane because uh, the contraindication the drug reactions are well mentioned in harriet lane as compared to mehrban singh mehrban singh is a uh, much bit easier to grasp but it has given dosage in a range so if you want to know what's the dose in an infant or 1 to 5 years more than 5 years and uh, specific diseases then you have to know uh, like exact dosing and i prefer harriet lane much over than mehban singh so the books for the clinicals i would recommend there are total 3 books uh, we have the pediatric clinical methods by mehrban singh or you can have aruchami's uh, clinical guide or the piyush gupta even you can also have the practical aspects of pediatrics by uh, dr cheda so any of the four have the same content just don't get over blamed with the uh, four books just have one book and go through it repeated number of times and you will get a hang on each and every aspect next now i would be telling you about uh, different books for different topics you must have to read at least before your exams uh, just make sure in the first year is the best part i can say of the residency where you can try during your night calls or something you can read it out and i would prefer reading nutrition and child development by elizabeth uh, it's the must have book i can say you right and sure uh, in whenever you have to formulate any of the diet charts or you want to know about the basic uh nutritions uh, it's the best book i can say uh the second is for the development aspect uh, growth and development aspect in the children there is ellingworth's uh, development of infant and young child normal and abnormal so it is the best book i can say they have given in pictureized form and this you have to finish it out reading in the first year itself like during your opd postings or during in your pics i i have read this book like five to six times just every time you read it make a flow chart or a diagrammatic presentation in in whichever way which is easier to grasp for you but i would have preferred this book like a million of times more than any other book for growth and development for immunization yes you have to read the purple book by the iap on immunization it has the a to z i can say literally the a to z for any vaccine the name of the vaccine what are the indications contraindications what is the age range like i think this is the must have book for immunization infectious disease is not given good in the nelson's test book of pediatrics and since it is uh, the author uh, is not of the southeast asia origin uh, it's basically us based so the diseases which are much more common in us are very well illustrated as compared to the diseases and uh, which are much more i am meaning that the infectious diseases which are much more common in india are not that much illustrative so for example tuberculosis or 
like many of the disease leptospira or many of them so i would prefer that there are two books one is the iip infectious book and the next is the parthen sarthi book for infectious now if you want and have an interest of preparing for the ss during your pg years only so or if you want to know much more about any of the disease per se and uh, you want to read more about it so where can you go for it so system wise any books for ss i would be taking you out through all of them one is the uh, which i am having is the eighth edition of the fenelch clinical pediatric Neuro neurology and for uh, Hematonco, you can uh, go for Lanzowski Pediatric Manual of Hematology and Oncology. Um, then for the CVS, like Cardiology, you can read the fourth edition, the Anderson's Pediatric Cardiology or the Parks uh, Pediatric Cardiology. Uh, for Nephrology, you can read by uh, Sir Arvind Bakga's book of pediatric uh, nephrology so that is very good uh, for nephrotic nephritic syndromes um, i feel that the resistant uh, drug doses in is quite well elaborated in these books and uh, for example for the miku and pico protocols i would prefer like the nicu protocols i would prefer clohati and going up through the aims protocol manual it is like crisp and concise aims uh, protocol of uh, nicu i think it's the must have handbook during your uh, nicu posting you can go through about it it's very crisp and concise what have to be known as uh, a neonatologist perspective and I find these books are, are the must have either you can have it as a hard book for yourself or you can have it in the form of a PDF if you feel like reading through an iPad so these are the must go guys linking down all the books in the description section and hope you find out this video very informative just don't be overwhelmed with the fact that you have to buy all the books uh, it's just like um, you must have these books and you must have read these books uh, at least during your residency <laughs> and uh, also for the research section which I prefer for the latest advance you must uh, go through pubmed or google scholar uh, in the search of articles for the latest updates next you can also visit the A aim site for the latest search like you search the department you also you can search in the name of the professors what is the research going on what are the latest updates i feel that you can understand much better from the articles as compared uh, through uh, the books if you want to have like, i'm quite a study geek so i like to go through many research articles what is been under trial for uh, any drug or something so i have created a files like according to system wise which you can also do and uh, i have placed all the like so uh, articles and research articles as per system wise so if i want to go through oh, any latest updates which is the fourth paper of uh, in the pediatrics uh, theory exam so residency obviously <laughs> and uh, then yeah this it's just a handy um, next i guess i've covered it all uh, hope you find out this video very much informative and please do share a like and subscribe to my channel